Guys, cool for the camera. Yeah. How you doing, bro? Appreciate bad. you, man. Here with Mike. What we got there, brother. That's Mama. message finds you all longer spurs first of all thank you so much for being patient with me as far as the content is concerned but we're back we're having fun we got some good stuff to do but guys before we get any further to why i'm done being illegal what i got behind me guys we are in the final weeks that's right october 22nd about a little over a little under four weeks left about 27 26 days left when you're watching this to enter to win the bronco here for just one dollar Grab some merch and to win for the Bronco, the most coveted vehicle of 2021. Guys, you cannot get this at the dealerships right now without a crazy market of like 10 grand. What we have here for you, remember this is stock. We just have some epic wheels on there. Uh, we have, it's Ford factory warranty. This is heated and cool seats, has navigation, really nice truck, $40,000 truck right here for you. Epic 52, 35 inch tall tires, no rubbing, does great. And it's gonna be yours. We're gonna be calling winter number nine in about a month or so once this ends so please check out the giveaway we have new merch we heard you guys and i appreciate you guys you're like enough t-shirts even though we've got new designs all the time we have new merchandise just things you can use every day we have cool stuff like bottle openers and can openers and stuff like keychains and different posters we have new license plate frames things like that you would love to have but also get to enter to win this and i have huge news huge news coming about the next car that will play the 500, but I don't want to get the car before the horse. Let's get into Bronco. Let's talk about what's happening with you know what. Let's go. As we go forward, you know, we're going to talk about, I'm sure you saw by the teaser and thumbnail, something's going on with Mamba, and we'll get to my friend Mike's shop in a second. But let's talk about what I'm talking about. I'm done being illegal. What does that mean? That is, I'm racing an uh, eight second car illegally. That means I need a cage. So, what do I mean by that? What that means is we're going to be headed to Mike's shop because as you know, we've had some pretty bad luck uh, as far as the <sighs> Mustangs are concerned in 2021. So the plan and the process and the idea is that we're going to compete. I wanna compete in a lot of these really cool racing events in 2022. So to do that, we need to be legal. So we're not gonna get like a built-in cage. We're gonna do some real deal official stuff. So we're headed to my friend Mike, link in the description. He's gonna, he's recommended highly. We're gonna do a nice certified cage in the Black Mamba. And we're gonna take you through that process. You know, we gotta remove the windshield, take out the interior, everything to the frame. It has swing outs, all that kind of good stuff. Of course, I am not the expert. We'll head over to Mamba and see what the plan is, the process, because, you know, we are gonna be switching to a built motor twin turbo setup for the Black Mamba and uh, we'll be racing heavily in 2022, but there's a process to it. I'm not gonna rush it. Uh, we'll get there and you know, we'll see how it goes because you know, I've learned a lot. I've learned a lot from the failures in 2021 as far as the racing is concerned and rushing. Uh, rushing is not the, the policy, you know, make sure every, all the T's are, are crossed and I's are dotted because, you know, I, I honestly, I've never had thousand horsepower Mustangs before and, and over the last, you know, we started with EcoBoost uh, Mustang uh, four years ago and then we went to Mamba three years ago. We were NA for so long. Over the last two years, we've been spoiled. I've been spoiled to, thanks to the Mustang community that you guys uh, are part of to be able to bring you thousand plus horsepower builds. But with that comes a lot of trial and error, especially someone like me who's learning. You know, I'm learning. I'm not a seasoned decade plus drag racer. I, I love drag racing and racing in general safely. Uh, but you know, we're, it, it takes time and it takes patience. And trust me, and you've seen me. I felt like quitting at times, and I feel like never, never stopping. Uh, but the most important thing of all is safety and safety first. And that's where we're gonna get this cage done to the Mamba because we're talking about running bottom eights, maybe a high seven, uh, potentially when things are all situated with that vehicle. That's very insane speeds. Uh, you know, Mamba is the car that built this channel uh, to where it is. Um, of course, we did a lot of things besides that, but the Black Mamba is, is at its core, you know, 10s and a nines, uh, and then eight stock block with the VMP. Odin. Um, but now, you know, we're gonna look into something and we wanna be 
able to have the car function, be ready to go, and do some big things. Um, so that is going to, Black Mamba is gonna be the car that we take to racing events. I understand like, you know, there's people watching and you know, there's an example that has to be set. So I, I definitely wanna make sure that we're, we're doing safety first. But that's the plan, that's the process. Let's head over to Mike's shop. Let's see the Mamba being torn apart. We'll be able to finally take the rest of the wrap off and we'll go from there. And just a little bit of housekeeping on Hulk. Uh, right now, l and is still tearing into the motor and we'll find out what's going on there. And you know, we'll, be, we'll get that build back and running when the time is right. But for now, like I said, I'm not rushing it. Uh, it's gonna be a fine wine and, and patience is a virtue uh, for that. All right, I think I did enough you know, explaining. Let's go look at what's happened to the car and uh, go from there. All right. Hey, sir. What's up, brother? All right, guys. Can we put the camera up? Yeah. How you doing, bro? Not too Appreciate bad. you, man. Here with Mike. What we got there, brother? That's Mama. All right, what we got going on, man? Oh. Just had the front glass pulled. Some of your glass pulled. All right. So I was doing a little, like, intro. I said, uh, this is Mike. You want to give a little intro of what you do, what we're going to do? I said, we're not going to make Mamba illegal anymore. It's getting a 10-point cage, window net, parachute mount. Oof. And like a lot of people don't like, you know, I was talking about the things between like, I'm, I'm a layman, you know, it's like, it's not a bolt in cage, it's something very extensive because we want to be safe. Right. Going, we're hoping to go bottom eight, maybe high seven. What do we got to do to do something like that? Take us through what's going on with Mamba. Uh, it's getting the interior pulled. Um. We can actually take the green off. <laughs> wow. So what happens with the glass? Is like. Is that so you can get to everything? Like talk to me, talk to the audience. Right, so up? we can get the we can get the eight pillar bars fit up real tight against the eight pillar trim. Uh, get the hole cut in the dash. All right, cool, man. Rear, we can pull the rear glass out because we're gonna we're not gonna go through the the rear rear seat area. We're gonna go through the package tray. Okay. So. All right, cool. Let me get the phone out too. I can see this. It's all good. So guys, you can see here, this is actually Hulk's old trunk because Mamba borrowed the carbon fiber. Um, but, you know. Now, we're doing the special kind of cage because what I talked about was that, you know the cage, it's not gonna go up here. It's actually gonna hug the top of the roof so I can still drive it yeah, normally. It's gonna be real tight the interior panel so it's not in your, your vision. Okay. And how long does something like this normally take for? Uh, it usually takes like two to four weeks. Depending gotcha. On, depending on work. Well, we're not rushing because obviously my motor's back ordered because of the APR bolts and we're waiting. So obviously we're taking a little bit longer, which is fine. Um, now we're doing swing out so I can actually come in and out. Yep. So that's pretty cool. Got to climb over the bar. And uh, this will be able to be uh, certified and everything. Yep. All right. This is pretty cool, man. Now, as far as the interior is concerned, like if someone was to come here with their car, you have to rip it all the way down to the... Yeah, they got an option. If the, if the customer wants to, they can pull the interior out themselves to save, okay. save a couple of hours. But I am going to take this with me today because I'm going to get this carbon fiber. But that's okay. Yeah. And uh, anything else that we need to do? Because what we're going to do is I want to I want to come through with the process. Obviously, showcase the audience. Not all your tricks, not all your tools, not all your miracles, but you know, kind of show step by step how it's going to look. Because I'm a street strip guy. So I like to keep the car still streetable, which is why you're doing a certain type of cage where if I get, if I get rear-ended, I'm not going to get a concussion. Yeah, and it'll still be streetable to where I can drive it as a daily, so. Be certified 850. Okay, perfect. And, uh, all and TIG welded. Yeah, so that's what we're going to use? All chrome alloy tubing. Okay. All going to be TIG welded. Do you have an example of anything that's caged right now that we can look at that you've done? Uh, this is just a four point. But okay. This is a, you can see how tight it is. Oh, yeah. Let me get the light on here for a second. I'll get the light. Yeah. I love how it hugs the roof. That's what I'm looking for. You know, it, does, it looks clean and subtle. And um, so as far as the chute's concerned, where would we put the handle like? In the center or on the roof, or how do you usually do it? Um, you can put them on a, you can put them on a 
on the, the main hoop, so you just gotta reach up and grab it. Okay. Um, that's, that's what normally people do? Yeah, I mean, we can mount it on the center console if you wanted to. I mean, if you wanted to get real trick, we can make the e-brake handle the, the release. Oh, okay. Um, I mean, that's totally really up to you. All right. Whichever you're most comfortable with. All right, well, comment below where we should put the, the handle for the uh, shoot. E-brake or on the roof or... Just another lever on the side of this. Side or just another console. lever. All right, cool. That's crazy. I haven't driven this car in like a while, so it's kind of good to see it because, believe it or not, this car went eight, nine, eight eighties stock block. Yeah. So, but you know, we were on borrowed time. You can't keep pushing the car. <laughs> you can't go push the block to that level, but the plan is twin turbos, built motor, built, uh, eventually we'll go cheaper hunter, but we're going to do one more shot with the 10 R80 and try to do the, uh, the low eight pass and then do, and then go to like competition. So. Yeah, I just did a turbo kit on a 2018 car. And yeah, shout out your stuff, bro. How do people find you? How do what's what? social media? MikeThomasFab.com. Okay. MikeThomasFab on Instagram and Facebook. Um, all right, I'll put all your stuff down below. Tell them I sent you. We're gonna come back, obviously, when you get we'll, your teeth deeper into this. But I want to show people where Mamba's at. You're here in Delaware, right? Yeah. Well, all man. right. Came came recommended highly from Chuck. So that's why we're here, and you can see Mamba's got the dog hair. It's gonna look. Trust me. I know you guys are probably like, this is gross, but when it's all said and done, it's going to look pretty badass. We're going to do a whole new cage, we'll do the wrap, we'll do the shoot, we'll do the new drag setup. Just, the vision's coming. Uh, so excited. When should we, should, should we come back in like a couple weeks, maybe? Yeah, a week, two weeks. Okay. Maybe. You just let me know. I'm on your time. We'll come back and we'll take them to the step of the process. Guys, comment below any questions you have for Mike. We'll answer them next video about the whole process of the cage. But, oh, Mamba, looking crazy. A little thumbnail action. All right, guys, there you have it. A little small update to uh, the Black Mamba. It's going to be pretty crazy. Um, you know, cage, shoe. I'm going to have Mike, if Mike Thomas Fab, link in the description, build me a nice drag wing. So Mamba's going to be pretty crazy. Uh, it feels good. I miss that car. But uh, like a fine wine... We'll find out. But anyways, guys, that's the update. Going to be rolling out some content here. Um, not just uh, with the builds of Mamba and Hulk, but we have some dry reviews. And again, there's a new car coming to the channel. So stay tuned. Appreciate all the beautiful support and comments. Love you guys. Like and subscribe because you know it never ends. Peace.